Now let me show you how to solve for crown molding, miter, and bevel cut angles using the built-in crown molding function. Keep in mind, this is for those who cut their crown on the flat. I'm going to start off by hitting Convert Times to clear everything out. And the crown molding function is one of the extra keys, which is a second function of material. So I'd hit Convert Material, and I'd keep pressing that till I get to crown molding. There it is. I'll hit Enter. The default value in there is a 90 degree corner, so we can go ahead and proceed with that just to show for illustrations. Uh, the default angle is a 45 degree angle, so we'll leave that. That's the spring angle. That's the angle that the crown comes off the wall. And so your miter angle would be 35.26 degrees, and your bevel angle would be 30 degrees. So now let's say we're doing something different. We're going to put crown molding around a bay window. So we've got a 135 degree corner. So the angle is 135. Enter that. And we're going to use 38 degree spring angle crown. So 38. Enter there. So our miter angle is going to be 14.31 degrees. And the bevel angle, 17.55 degrees. It's just that easy. So that's a quick overview on how to use the crown molding function. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.